Welcome, Mountain School. This is the most we've been together since this darn pandemic started. So everybody wave, give a nice wave to everybody. <laughs> Wonderful to see you all. Thank you guys for being here. This is our last assembly of the year, and it's a special one. We've got graduation coming, end of the year coming, lots of things going on. So I appreciate you all being here. We are recording this uh, assembly. So I will share that link to the recording after it gets uploaded and transcribed. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead now and ask everyone if you haven't muted, please mute. So we have can reduce that feedback. And then I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll start the assembly. All right, my co-hosts helping me out in the uh, chat and helping me out with letting people in. If you get bumped out, just come back in, use the link again, we'll let you back in. That will be Claudia Hooper and Sandy Hooper. Thank you guys for helping me with that. And I need to hold on there. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I have to move a couple things here. Okay. And I am already several slides in. Okay, there we go. So welcome everybody to our Student Learning Showcase and Awards Assembly. This is gonna be a little different than we are normally used to, but we've tried to pack as much stuff in here as we can. We will wrap this up in an hour and uh, we're excited to see you guys. So let's get going. First, we wanna say thank you to all of the families who have done such an excellent job during distance learning. It has been a crazy couple of months and there's been a lot of learning and transitioning and we appreciate everyone being flexible and supportive and communicating with us and staying in touch as we navigated this whole time of this whole process. So you guys have been amazing and our school has outshined every other school in the district with just participation, parent involvement, student involvement. We are so proud of everybody. So thank you guys. You've done amazing in a very tough time. So we're proud of you. How, how about a silent round of applause for everybody? Good job. Let's go on to our star learners from Mrs. Anderson's class. It is Ryan Wood. Congratulations, Ryan. And Mrs. Anderson is so proud of Ryan. He's been an amazing superstar learner this trimester. Uh, the challenges of distance learning were many, but Ryan persevered and submitted fantastic work. I've looked at a lot of his work in Seesaw. It's been amazing, and his parents have done a great job too. Uh, he was in all the classroom Zoom meetings and accomplished his Seesaw work. So great job. Mrs. Anderson, did you wanna say anything about Ryan? Yes, I just wanted to say how very proud I am of him. And I really enjoyed the videos and all the fun work that he submitted. And there were challenges and he overcame them. So excellent job, kiddo. Good job, Ryan. All right, next, our next star learner. For Mr. Morgan's class, did I skip it to, no, I went right to it. Okay, sorry, for Mr. Morgan's class is Rylan Carone and Gonzo. So Mr. Morgan said that so many students have gone above and beyond to continue their learning online. He had to pick two. Rylan and Gonzo have both come to at least 20 Zoom meetings in the last three weeks alone. That's amazing. They both asked great questions, solved problems, showed respect, and made good decisions. And he wants to thank both of them for making the best of this time. Mr. Morgan, did you have anything you wanted to add to that? I'll just reiterate again, a lot of students have really done a lot during this time. It, it was it was very hard to pick uh, any, any, any individuals. Thank you so much to everybody who's helped get their students connected. And students, great job getting there and doing your best. 
And I have had a lot of fun. The few Zoom meetings I got to attend for Mr. Morgan's classes were great, and I really enjoyed seeing the kids. I think I went to third grade the most, but um, what a great time. You guys did a great job. And for Mrs. Clense Clark's uh, star learner is Katie Wood. Katie has been learning a lot of challenging new music. She's always eager to share her progress with her classmates and in the Zoom meetings, and her progress has been amazing on the flute. Mrs. Clense, did you have anything you wanted to add? Just, you know, congratulations. It was really hard to pick everyone. Um, I'm just amazed. No one's letting this crazy stuff get them down with their music. They're still pushing right through and that's just awesome. So, I mean, I wish I could give everybody an award, but of course that's not really how it works. But congratulations, everybody. Yes, you were all amazing. And uh, we're very proud of everybody. We're just happy to be able to highlight a few today. All right, next we have uh, Mrs. Anderson's star mountain student, right? Safe, respectful, and responsible even during uh, school closure and distance learning is Morgan Wilder. Morgan has been a shining star all year. This trimester, she outshined herself during distance learning. She exhibited and modeled safe, respectful, and responsible online behavior. She utilized technology responsibly and created wonderful assignments. Momo zoomed and seesawed like a star. She has. What an amazing. I enjoyed. You did one around your house, Morgan, and that was amazing. I loved it. It was a great video. Mrs. Anderson, did you want to add anything? Yes, I am so proud of Momo as well. She had so much fun, and she really went above and beyond. Not only did she do the seesaw work, she did all the wonders assignments, and she worked on the packets. Triple threat this girl. Fantastic. Good job, Momo. That's a great job. And they had a busy house. There were other people on Zooms and in class as well. She's got brothers and a sister. And sometimes in the meetings, I would see others pass behind her and having conversations. And she was laser focused. Good job, Momo. Our next one from Mrs. Anderson, her star mountain student is Mateo Winner. Congratulations, Mateo. He gets a special mention as a first grader. He has done an excellent job during distance learning. He has persevered and done very well. And I saw several of his videos as well in Seesaw, and I was super impressed. He was uh, singing in one, and he did amazing things. So I enjoyed watching those. Mrs. Anderson. Yes, thank you. He, he did so many cute videos as well, and it was, it was really hard to narrow down. But these three top kids were at every Zoom. They accomplished above and beyond with Seesaw and Packets. So congratulations. I'm very proud of you. Very proud. And we did see a lot of kids do both. Some kids just did packets, some did online, and some kids did both. Uh, it, if it worked out for them and they were able to do it, we were very proud that we were able to contact and connect with every one of our students. We haven't lost anyone during this time. They've all been involved at different levels, but we were able to make sure all of our students were doing well and checked in with them multiple times. So thank you, parents and families and kids, because you guys did the work and we really appreciate it. Okay, next. Mr. Morgan Star Mountain student, Claire Williamson. Claire has been an excellent participant in all Zoom activities. She helps everyone to learn as much as they can. Mr. Morgan never thought Zoom could be as much fun as Claire and the third graders make it. And I have to agree with that. Mr. Morgan, tell us about this picture. I, I think the picture speaks for itself. <laughs> I can show you, I don't know how many of you can see me, but we, we came up with the Zoom dance where you kind of do this. It's real complicated, but uh, we started like every Zoom meeting, we'd start by doing a little dance time. And so when we took pictures, that's kind of what we did. Awesome. I love that you made your classes fun in person and you even made it equally fun online and, and through distance learning. Good job. I would also really like to say thank you to Miss Raquel and Miss Robin was in our the last Zoom picture. It really, there were a lot of people that made it happen. And as you said a minute ago, Ray, the students did all the work and made us look good. They did. And our support staff, since you mentioned it, Mr. Morgan, were phenomenal. I, I think no other school had every one of their support staff attend Zoom meetings with kids. We never had just one adult. We always had two adults in every meeting uh, so we could better support our kids and monitor behavior and make sure learning was happening. So thank you to all of our support staff. They did an amazing job. Okay, moving on. Let's see what is next. 
Mrs. Hooper, star distance learners. We have two, Eva Sanchez Portillo and Henry Leonard Rhodes. Uh, Mrs. Hooper had several students who attempted to do every single assignment that she gave them for the entire 10 weeks. And Eva and Henry did exemplary work even during the first month when nothing was required. I know that with their outstanding work ethic and habits, they will both go very far in life. Um, she also wanted to congratulate and thank every student who showed up to Zoom meetings, asked questions, and gave 100% and tried their hardest. Truly excellent job, Mount Lyons. Mrs. Hooper, did you want to add anything? Good job, Eva and Henry, and thank you to everybody who tried so darn hard. I know that sometimes it wasn't easy, and I know that a lot of times it wasn't fun, but you guys rocked it. You knocked it out of the park. We're super proud of you. Absolutely. Okay, now it's time for our star music presentations. And Mrs. Cleanse, we're going to switch to her because she has a bunch of amazing music to show. These are some great videos that were submitted to her by the music students in her classes. And so we will let Mrs. Cleanse, you can go ahead and start sharing your screen. Be sure you click on that share computer sound. Okay, here is Dylan's music experiment. Sorry, let me go back one. And Mrs. Cleanse, that was created using Chrome, uh, Chrome Music Lab Song Maker. Right, it's a lot of fun. Digital music composition, very good. Good job, Dylan. Yeah, and here's Theo from The Sound of Music. lab experiment. My order got messed up a little bit. Uh, you might know the show Drama. And here's Winnie and Ashlyn. I built a friend. Hi, my name is Winnie Monin. Hi, my name is Ashlyn. Um, this song is called Built a Friend by Alex Benjamin.
having some buffering problems or so much fun together. We will we be friends. I don't know why, because I didn't earlier when I test forever. We had so much fun together. I'd have to skip to the next one. Very good though. We had so much fun. Sorry about that. Yeah. You're asking a lot. It's trying to stream to a live stream. That's a lot for the computer. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here's our group of our ukulele kids. Music Lab experiment. All my other windows, just in case. What do you think, Mrs. Fearing? Do we want to just put this up on Facebook or something? I think if you, yeah, you share the um, slides with me so I can make this available to other people to see. And we'll just make sure the videos are all um, in a format that will play easily. What instrument is she holding here? Is that two instruments together? Yeah, it's um, a recorder. And, well, Gabby, do you want to tell them about it? Uh, it's kind of just an uh, instrument my parents gave me from New Mexico, and I use my hair ties to tie it together with my recorder, so um, the wooden instrument could just keep the beat like that. Great job. And blow into the recorder at the same time. Nice. Good job. Super cool. Sorry, everybody. Everyone's videos are totally amazing. Make sure you check that out on Facebook, everybody. I love it. That was a great job. I liked how there was singing and digital music and ukuleles. What a variety. Thank you for putting that together for us. Okay, let's move on. Let's see her. So, Mrs. Fearing? Yes. I think on mine, it with the problems that Ms. Clancy Clark was having, it might be better for me to load these to YouTube and then share the link at a later date. Um, I'll, tell, I'll just tell everybody just real briefly, each one of these students made a video that's a memory of their time at Mountain School. And uh, they're about uh, between one minute and three minutes each. And we were hoping to play those today um, I can try to play a couple of the shorter ones um, if you want, but I think that with the streaming problems, it might be better to just for me to put those all on YouTube for you. 
let's do that and we can list them you know on youtube as unlisted or something but is there one can i try jace's because that one played fine before i think that's one of the ones yeah go ahead and try it but i think it's going to link back to his email i oh, think yeah. i fixed that issue so fingers crossed <laughs> uh, that one's still linked what's another try, one try um try gabe's My Time at Mountain by Gabe Minty. I went to Mountain for four years when my teachers were Mr. Morgan, Mrs. Claudia Hooper, Mrs. Sandy Hooper, and Mr. Fitch. Can everybody hear that okay? Okay. Let me know if somebody can hear and I can I can redo the sound. I'd like to dedicate this video to Brandy, my stepmom, for helping me manage my work and giving me integrity, Brett, my dad, for giving me discipline, and to my teachers for teaching me. I remember a joke that me and Aaliyah have. She would stand on something and say, ha, huh, now I'm taller than you. Then I would stand on the same thing, and she would say, stop ruining my dreams. But we both know it's a joke, so we don't really care. And Zoe would always be our anime guide because she watches all kinds of anime. I'll miss those two going into the future. I'd like to thank Zoe and Aaliyah for being my best friends. Going forward, I'm very curious to see what the future will hold, and I'm also excited to see what it will hold. I will look forward to the future, but I will also look back and remember the good memories of the past. I will miss you all, and I hope that you all live good lives and do all that you can do in your lives. So that's an My example of one, and I, I, recorded, I recorded his. He, didn't, he wasn't able to get the screencast to work, but that's one of the things that we worked on this, um, this last three weeks are just how to make video productions. So I will make sure that I post that link on the Mountain School site and on Instagram and on Facebook. Okay, and I'm going to try just a couple more because Claudia is talking to me and I think she has some of that worked out. Okay. So let's try. Let's see if we can do another one. Oops. There's Rowan Winnell. My Time at Mountain by Rowan. I went to Mountain for three years, and my teachers were Mrs. Hooper and Mr. Fitch, and Claudia and Mr. Hooper. I'd like to dedicate this video to my parents, who've done a lot to help me ever since I knew them. I think the first time I ever met them was in the hospital where I was born. This picture isn't of my parents, but it's still a good picture of my dog. My favorite times at Mountain School were at recess with my friends and on Wednesday hikes up the toll road, and just being together. Someone was always saying something funny, like when the waffle in the baggie just kept showing up around school. I'd like to thank everyone who makes Mountain a great school. I'm not sure what comes next, but I hope that there will be lots of good times ahead. I'll stay in touch with my friends here, and I look forward to seeing everyone next year, whatever that looks like. I'll miss the good times that we had here. Goodbye, Mountain School. Excellent job, Rowan. Okay, let's try Leah. Do I hit play here? Mm -hmm. My Time at Mountain by Leah Park. I went to mountain school for two years. During those two years, I had two teachers, Mr. Mrs. Hooper and Mr. Fitch. I've been to four schools now, and everyone has been different, but mountain stands out. I haven't had the most friends in the school, but I would like to thank Taylor for being there for me whenever I was crazy. I'd like to dedicate this slideshow to her. 
I have so many memories from this school that I can't really pick a great one. I want to thank everyone that works at my school. I want to thank you for dealing with me and all the other kids. I don't know what to expect from the future. And I'm concluding this chapter of my education by celebrating at home. Thank you. Thank you, Leah. Next we have Talon. My Time at Mountain by Talon Hodson. I've gone to this school since second grade and I've had Mrs. Lawrence, Mrs. Woodward, Mr. Morgan, and Mrs. Hooper. I went to Mary Peacock for preschool, then Mountain for kindergarten, and a school in Chico for first grade. I'd like to dedicate this video to my niece, Quinn. She's made a great impact on my life, and if, if I didn't have her, I would be so much different. I'd also like to dedicate this to my dad. He's also a major part of my life, and I'm glad that he was there when I needed him. I think my favorite memory would have to be when we planted all the fruit trees in the field. Here's a photo of that day. I'd also like to thank Ms. Talene. She helped me with who I am, and if she wasn't there, I wouldn't be who I am, so thank you. Going forward, I'm confident that I'm gonna do good, and I'm eager to see what happens. I'm saying goodbye to my friends, my teachers, and my foes. For now, from now on, you're a memory of Mountain Elementary, nothing more, nothing less. I will miss all the memories and all my friends, but here we are saying goodbye. Thank you, Talon. Good job. And we're going to come back to Jesse. Is that correct? So I'll move on I to Eli. Okay, no problem. I'll move on to Eli right now. All right. My Time at Mountain by Eli Anderson. I first came to Mountain School in seventh grade. I've lived in Del Norte my whole life, and before my little brother moved to Mountain School, I didn't even know it existed. When I first arrived, I hated the school and the people there, except for Alden, because I had previously known him. But after time, I began to enjoy the school and a lot of the things it had to offer. Throughout my time at Mountain, one of the biggest traits I began to value in the teachers and the students there is helpfulness. Mrs. Hooper would sit for, with me for minutes and minutes, helping me with math, something I struggled with, and that is something I'm very grateful of. I guess my idea of fun isn't what really fits in well at school. I like extreme sports, being in top shape, hanging out with my friends, and that isn't something that happened a lot at school. That being said, I do have a lot of good memories at Mountain, from when it snowed to the weekly hikes up the toll road. But my overall favorite memory were the weeks before the end of seventh grade where we just played games and enjoyed the nice weather until the long days of summer came and took over the school days. I wanna thank Mrs. Claudia for putting up with me and my friends and always helping me when I needed it. I wanna thank Mr. Morgan for letting me play guitar in the mornings, running with us, and introducing me to one of my favorite things, surfing. And I want to thank Mrs. Hooper for being the best teacher I ever had and helping me with everything she did. Leaving here, I take a look at what I want high school to be like. I know now how strong I am, how much the truth and fairness matter to me. I hope that when I go to DNHS next fall, I'm very excited to get to play football and for the opportunities that high school will bring. I know now what strength really is. Not just physical strength, but true endurance of sticking with something, even when it's boring or stupid or hard. Something that I really learned from Mrs. Hooper and that I'm excited to use when I've learned from my time at Mountain and apply that to the, my life outside of it. I thank Mountain for everything it did for me, and I'll miss my teachers and friends who I've spent time with while here. And I hope that all the new people coming to Mountain learn to enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you, Eli. Great job. All right, moving on to Jace. Yeah, this is a slide. So I'll just go through the slides. Um, Mrs. Hooper, did you want to narrate? I just, I just wanted to say Jace actually did record this, but the link didn't show up right. So 
Um, no, if, if you want to read it, Mrs. Strain, that's great. I'm sure everybody's full of my voice already. Well, Jason did a great job. I actually did see the video and uh, we will get that posted again, but uh, here's his presentation. So my time at Mountain by Jace Bergman. Jace, is, is Jace on? Can Jace read this? No, he he went to go do some yard work with his dad. Okay, thank you. All right. <laughs> um, so Jay said, I have been at this school for three years and my teachers for those years was Mrs. Hooper. Many people have influenced me throughout my school life. My mom has helped me with schoolwork and brought me to hundreds of sports practices and games over the years. My dad has taught me life skills that will help me as an adult. My coaches have taught me skills to improve my game and my teacher has been patient with me, encouraged me, and helped me learn. Moving forward, I am eager to see what my future holds, what my future holds for me. I have an idea how it is going to be, and I can't wait for it to happen. I'm excited to start high school. I hope to play basketball and other sports in high school. I also hope to take classes that will help me get to the college that I want to go to. It's a time of anticipation for me. Fun memories of being at Mountain. A fun memory I have is a field trip that we went on that was river rafting on the Smith for the whole entire day, school day. I also have many good memories of basketball and getting to play my favorite sport. Conclusion. As you can see, many people have influenced and encouraged me in my time at Mountain School. While I am excited to move forward into the next chapter of my life, I have enjoyed many things about my time here. I have appreciated the small size of the school and the opportunity to have the same teacher for multiple years. That allowed me to have an understanding relationship with the teacher. I will always have fond memories of my time here. Thank you, Jace. And we're going down to Darcy. Here's Darcy Glores. And the same situation, her video didn't come through correctly. So we just have her slideshow. Darcy, would you like to narrate? I saw you here. No. <laughs> okay, I did see her video as well, and we will get that posted. So, uh, My Time at Mountain by Darcy. I have been attending Mountain for three years, ever since sixth grade. I attended five different elementary schools across two different states before this, and this is the longest I have ever been at any school. I'd like to dedicate this to my parents and the friends that I've made at Mountain School. Thank you. Fun memories of being at Mountain. I have lots of fun memories of Mountain, but here are the, some that stand out. The annual Sweetwater field trip, the whitewater rafting trip, the 2020 gate field trip, Wednesday walks and snowball fights. Thanks to Mrs. Hooper for teaching us all we need to know to complete middle school and preparing us for high school. Bus man for making the long drive every day without complaining. Mr. Hooper and the other Mrs. Hooper for helping us out in class and on the walks. Mr. Fitch for teaching ELA and social studies in fun and interesting ways. We miss you here. And Mrs. Fearing for giving us field trips, assemblies, game days, and barbecues every year. Moving forward, I don't know what I'd like to do with my life yet. I plan to graduate high school with at least a B average and complete my A through G requirements. But other than that, I'm not sure. However, going forward, I am confident in my ability to succeed in life. I'm not sure what will happen to me in the future, but I feel like I can do my best no matter what. Looking back, I'll remember my time at Mountain as a memorable experience in my life. When I leave, I will miss everything about this school. I'll miss my teachers and the long bus rides every day and the unique scenery and Wednesday walks. I'll never forget this experience and I'll visit again so I can experience it one more time. Thank you. Good job, Darcy. And then and again, yes. I just want to tell everybody that uh, we're going to create a YouTube channel for this and I'll post the link and thanks to all the kids who met the deadline and, and did such a great job on their slideshows and uh, sorry for those mix ups. I thought I had it all perfect, but I'm not as good at technology as my students are still, even though I keep working on it. So thank you all. And I hope that you enjoyed our, our presentation and good job graduates. Very good job. And I believe Creek has something to share with us. Yes, Creek. Um, why didn't why didn't you guys show the ones uh, that aren't highlighted? Like what happened there? 
So for those, those are the ones where the links weren't working. It would just reroute it straight to the email. And I was, as you guys were talking, I was really trying to link those up, but I just couldn't find the videos on time. So that's why okay. Mrs. H will make the YouTube video. Yeah, and that wasn't, a, that wasn't Miss Claudia's fault. That was mine. I thought it was okay. And at about quarter to three, she sent me a text and said, hey, do you realize there's a problem with those um, links? And I said, oh my gosh, no, how do we fix it? And Mrs. Steering told me how to fix it, but it was like 322. So I couldn't, I couldn't get it done in time. So sorry, Mrs. C has been frantically trying to fix it during the entire assembly. So be with, be patient with us, we'll get it. We're sorry about that. Yes, yes, thank you, great. And with deadlines of getting stuff in and then the time to turn around and get them all uploaded and, and working properly, we do apologize that they all weren't ready to go, but um, we showed the ones we can. So thank you guys for your patience. All right, thank you to the Mountain team. Um, who made this slide? Who did this slide for us? Mystery. <laughs> Who did looks, this slide? Looks kind of like Miss Raquel to me. Um, yes, thank I you actually so much to everybody. Didn't I do love that. working with all of you. You're amazing. Oh, Mrs. Anderson, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you to the incredible team. Um, I try to tell everybody all the time, and I know I hear positive comments. We're, we're actually a really good, well-oiled machine, uh, great people, very strong people, and who work together and really take the kids first. Everything we do is for the kids, and I appreciate that. Thank you, Mrs. Anderson, for making this slide. Okay, a couple of things now. Uh, what, I want to talk about graduation. So graduation is June 9th at 6 p.m., and we will send this map out as well. But we did make a map. Thank you, Miss Claudia, Miss uh, Mandy, and Mrs. Hooper for making the map. Basically, what's going to happen? Uh, it, it will start at the school. It's for graduates only in the parking lot. They're going to get their diplomas, their bling bag, and line up behind the fire truck. And then, as on the top, you can see we're going to go down Gasky Flat Road all the way down Firehouse Road to the highway, and that's where the parade ends. So we've got some fun surprises for you. There'll be people out on the parade route cheering you on for all of our eighth grade graduates. So this information will be coming out. I know Mrs. Hooper has talked to the eighth graders already, but we encourage anybody that can come up. We've got plenty of roads so people can stay you know, apart from each other, socially distance, and still um, celebrate our graduates and the hard work they've done. It is, it is a lot of work to get to eighth grade, and I'm so proud of all these students for sticking with it for completing their requirements and, and passing eighth grade and they're gonna move on to high school now. So that's a huge accomplishment. And they have been very set up very well by Mrs. Hooper to succeed in high school. So um, if you want more information, feel free to contact us, but we will definitely send this out as well. So we can have as many people be involved. It is a Hawaiian theme. Uh, every student's gonna get a lay if they would like it. And uh, we'd love people to dress up in Hawaiian and celebrate with us. Mrs. Hooper has been in charge of graduation this year. Did you want to add anything, Mrs. Hooper? Yeah, if you don't mind. Um, I plan on calling all of my eighth grade parents again one more time, um, possibly this week, but probably uh, Monday. And I'll give you the final details and tell you what, what to expect. And um, we'll be sharing the PDF of the, of the map with you, all right? So when Mrs. Fearing said one graduate um, in the parking lot at a time. You can bring a whole carload of your people, but we're trying to keep the, the parking lot to the 10 cars that have the 10 kids. Um, if you have more people or more cars than that, uh, please let me know. And if you're not, if your graduate isn't gonna be at graduation, please let us know that too. Uh, we wanna make sure that we get the stuff to you wherever you're gonna be. And we will be live streaming it, so if you have relatives out of the area, please let us know if there's um, an email or a, um, a Facebook link that we should share with them, all right? And like I said, I'll be calling all my eighth grade parents next week. Thank you, Mrs. Hooper. A uh, couple things I just want to let you know, since I have you all here, plans for school this fall. There's been a lot of talk uh, through board meetings and in the community about what is happening, what isn't happening. And I'll just say that there are no firm plans yet in any site. We are meeting daily as an administrative team and trying to get these things worked out. 
Um, there's a lot of moving parts to school, and so it's a, a lot of work to get that coordinated. However, for Mountain, we have been meeting and will continue to meet to try to plan a hybrid learning model for Mountain School uh, so that we will be able to keep the students that we have here in school at Mountain. Uh, the grade levels will have different amounts of time on campus during this week. We know that our K-2 students need more time with face-to-face -face learning than maybe a 7th or 8th grade student. So we're trying to make those schedules work following the guidelines from public health about how many students we can have in a room, how many people on campus, and that applies to recess and lunch and everything. So we are going to do our best um, to provide as much support as we can at school to move kids through in cohort cohorts and uh, get the needed time on campus that they need to be successful. So we are working on that schedule and what that will look like and we'll share just as soon as we have something firm that we can share. Um, teachers are being trained in Canvas, which is a learning management system, so that all of our content and curriculum will be online, which takes some time. Um, Mrs. Hooper's done a little more uh, than Mr. Morgan versus Anderson, and that that's going to take them time. So they they may not have talked to you about this yet, or they haven't they haven't started yet, and that's because they're trying to wrap up this year before we jump into next year. And they have so much going on with their students right now. But but they will be getting trained so that if we have to close school again completely, there is no disruption to learning. We're trying to really set ourselves up ahead of time so our teachers are trained, our courses are ready to go, so that no matter what happens with school, we can keep learning going consistently for our kids and um, minimize disruption. And we're also working with transportation to keep our bus. It looks very positive at this time. I do not think we're going to lose the bus to Mountain. It may look different because we also have to follow guidelines for how many kids can be on a bus and, and our cohorts and when they're going to come to campus. So we're working all that out, but um, I do not anticipate that we will lose our bus. I know it is a way to cut funds and we are being um, having our funding cut. We've already had our school budget cut by 10% for next year. Um, and I have um, heard that uh, Mr. Campbell is working to keep our bus at Mountain School. So I'm pretty optimistic about that. So that's what I know currently. Uh, we also want to say congratulations to Miss Mandy. Let's all give her a round of applause. She is going to be a teacher. Um, besides being our secretary and working very hard to keep everything going, she um, has been getting her bachelor's degree, she is getting her teaching credential now, and she was just hired at Castle Rock as a teacher. So we are going to lose her as our secretary, but congratulations to Miss Mandy. We're so proud of you. Thank you. I'm going to miss you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, of course. And now we have some memories um, from this has been a crazy year. So many things have happened um, just all over. And so I want to share some of those pictures. So here's some that Mrs. Hooper put together. Lots of good times. Hands on learning. And going forward, we don't plan to stop our projects and our engineering and our field studies and things. We would love to actually increase that. And that's why kids come to school is to do these types of things. Um, so we still plan on doing field trips and all those things. We don't want that to stop. We just need to adjust it to make it work uh, for school next year. Lots of great memories about assemblies. A lot of kids said about snow day. We do love getting snow here. We miss the playground and seeing kids out there. It's very quiet. And then uh, props to our legend, Darcy Glore, Spelling Bee Champ. Music, thank you to the music teacher. We have had guest speakers come in. So many great things have happened this year. I hope you guys all had a bunch of memories that you'll treasure forever, and we can't wait to see you all next year. And you high schoolers, we're going to check up on you. We'll be around. We pop in and out of the high school. We'll see you. And thank you to the staff. We have a tremendous staff. We can't wait to see you all again on August 24th. Uh, thank you, everybody. Any final thoughts from staff? So um, I think it's important for everybody. I know you've heard from Miss Mandy about collecting Chromebooks next week. Um, the district is having paper packets that they're going to put out. And the paper packets are going to be filled with enrichment type activities. These packets will not be collected and they will not be graded. So I just want to make you aware of that, that you'll be able to pick those up at the school offices around town, um, up at our office, or on the buses, and those will be for the last two weeks of school. But um, 
most of the teachers in the district, including me, uh, will still have stuff online if you have your own private devices. And you can always email me students. Um, I may try to have some Zoom meetings. I, I won't require anything because not everybody will have devices, but I wanted to let you know that this is this Friday is my last deadline for digital work. And then the following Monday paper packets will go out. I didn't Student. want to jump in over everyone. Sorry. No, no, <laughs> course, go ahead. Just when I'm about to start talking. Well, I just wanted to say that it's great working with the kids, uh, parents, your kids are awesome. It's been a blast since I've joined the staff and um, it was an unpredictable year. We didn't know how it was going to end, but you know, whatever we were able to do to reach out to your kids and their feedback and you know, now with the graduation happening, I'm really looking forward to it and it's a fun school to uh, be a part of. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Um, uh, I'll talk for or Mrs. Walkley. Did you want to talk for PTO? Yeah, hi. Um, PTO has um, made had has had some teachers made for all of our students and staff at Mountain School. Um, Brian Anden is making them. I spoke with him this week and he said they're going to be done soon and um, we'll be ready to hand out. I don't have a specific date, so hopefully it will happen around the time that you guys are coming through to um, drop off your com computers. And if they're not ready, I'm not sure our volunteers and teachers will um, work on delivering them directly to you. These are, are meant to help celebrate you all. And um, so DT is very proud of you. We're also helping out with some of the cost of the graduation, in case you guys didn't know that. All right, I think that was pretty broken up for me. Was that, was that pretty broken up for everybody else? Yeah, that was, that was so glitchy. Did you hear me? So, no. so what, what PTO did is since they weren't able to fund um, field trips and things that they normally fund at the end of the year, they bought every student a new mountain shirt. And I think it's with the super cool Bigfoot logo. And Mr. Um, Anderson, Brian Anderson, Eli and Finch's dad is making the shirts. And so as soon as we have them, she's hoping they'll be at the school during device collection, possibly next week. If not, we will get them to you. But um, thank you to PTO. That was a very thoughtful thing to do. Uh, and I appreciate you thinking of our kids and um, giving them something that they can they can use in the future and that helps uh, celebrate mountains. So thank you for PTO for doing that. And she also threw in something about graduation. Um, I just think it's important for you to know that because we're not having the usual cookies and punch that we have after graduation, PTO generously is putting together bling bags for every single graduate that are gonna be full of all kinds of goodies. And I think that the graduates are really gonna like that. So thank you PTO for everything that you do. You guys are awesome. Yeah, I was looking at the bling bad stuff and it was, there's some cool stuff in there. You guys are super lucky. So thank you, PTO. All right, we're going to sign off now and uh, I'm going to hit stop record, but we will share this link with you if you want to relive any of the moments and we will make sure you have access to the slideshow and all the videos and I encourage you to watch them because they were all very, very good. Thank you, staff. Thank you, parents. Thank you. Thank you, students. Thank you. Thank you. Over 9,000. What did you say? Bye. What did you just say? Over 9,000. Bye. So can, Bye. Staff, can staff stay, stay behind for a second? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.